What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Horcrux here and in today's video we are going to be talking about the 8 new brand artifacts dropping in New World Eternum. <laughs> yeah, fun stuff, right? I'm going to show you guys what they do, where to get them, and we're also going to be talking about Nature's Wrath, everyone's favorite artifact and how it's getting nerfed into oblivion. So without further ado fellas, let's hop into the video. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room, which is Nature's Wrath. This is getting nerfed into oblivion. The uh, TLDR with this artifact now is that any temporary empowers that you have, they expire instantly, and any permanent empowers, for example, the rune, the little fire rune from your fire staff that you stand in that gives you the empower, that potency is reduced by 50%, but you're still gonna do the 20% more damage. Uh, the reason this is a big deal is, pre is because like pretty much everyone has access to empowers so there's really no benefit of really running this anymore and, and the reason i say that is that there is a particular ring later i'm going to talk about which gives you like four potentially five different empowerment buffs which is absolutely busted and i think it's going to be an absolute staple in like 90 percent of builds going forward in new world eternum before we get into the bread and butter of this video, please consider giving the channel a like and sub because occasionally, occasionally, I do put out some pretty decent content. Uh, but seriously, um, if you want to help support the channel, that is definitely the best way to do so. All right, so this list is in no particular order, and I, I can't stand all these ads on my screen. There's like four or five ads on... Uh, on New World Database, but this is the reference for this. So all, all this is accessible to you guys. You essentially, you just go to newworlddatabase.com and you go to the open beta and you can look up all these artifacts yourself. So I'm gonna go through them in no particular order and just kind of get my thoughts and potentially how they play out in the meta. All right, so the very first artifact I wanna talk about is Power Stone. It is a flail archetype and the special perk reads heavy burden. If health is above 90%, attacks cause a 20% weaken for five seconds. This is on a five second can cool down on each target now you can immediately see some great benefits to this in both pve and especially pvp i will say weaken is one of the most oppressive debuffs to put on your opponents especially in pvp since everyone is so tanky anyways so how do you even get this thing? Uh, very simple, pretty much any soul trial. Uh, you, you know, the little solo instances that you complete. Now, I don't know if this has a particular drop chance based on what soul trial, you know, maybe some soul trials have a higher drop chance than others. Um, I don't really know that, but as far as New World Database is concerned, that's where you're going to get it. So the next artifact I want to talk about is Grace. It is a great sword archetype and the unique perk reads when you enter offensive stance, gain six seconds of 20% movement speed. Now, you are going to be zooming, especially when you see the other perk it has. It has keen speed, gain 20% haste for 7 seconds on a critical hit, on a 7 second cooldown. So if you are a brawler, a bruiser, yada yada, whatever, if the fire staff and the musket users are absolutely freaking annoying, and, and we know that they are, you will be able to close the gap so quick in PvP. Now, as far as PvE, but uh, how do you get this thing? Well, it drops in the battle pass, so <laughs> everyone's going to have have access to it so uh yeah yeah it's gonna be a good time all right moving right along the next artifact i want to talk about is cerna i'm just gonna call it cerna i don't know if that's how you say it but it looks good to me it is a warhammer archetype and the unique perk reads consume 25 percent lifesteal versus knock down foes to be honest with you, I'm trying to look at this objectively in PvE and PvP. In PvE, this really isn't going to do you know anything for you. I mean, all the other perks are kind of cool. In PvP, I mean, kind of, sort of, if you're going with like a, a, a spear build, you know, your 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 stun lock, kind of like a tanky boy or you know whatever. I I don't really think this is going to offer too much uh, of a benefit. I mean, this it, the the life steal could be great though. Um, I. I don't really know how this is going to play out in the meta. I, I, me personally, think it's underwhelming. But of course, I don't play a lot of bruiser builds. So maybe I'm mistaken. If I am, guys, let me know down in the comments. Okay, so how do we ascertain this dog water artifact? All right, so if you take a look at New World Database, this is going to come from the new dungeon. One of the bosses, Typhoon or Typhoon, whatever his name is, in the uh, the Hive of Gorgon. So it will be dropping from there. So uh, maybe it needs a little bit of love. Um, I don't really know, guys, uh, but please, yeah, by all means, let me know down in the comments if I'm terribly mistaken. 
All right, so the next artifact we're talking about is actually a ring. It is called the Elemental Band, and this is the one I was talking about. This one is a doozy. I do believe that this is going to be a meta staple in most builds, in both PvE and PvP, in my opinion. So, the special perk, Elemental Affinity. When you hit a target with an Elemental Damage Attack, doesn't apply off damage over times or attunements i think they added or attunements in at some point when i first read over elemental band it did not have the term or attunements maybe i'm mistaken maybe i'm not but i do think they added that in here you gain four percent in power for six seconds this is a 10 second cooldown per damage type one stack per type so let's say, for example, uh, you have a fire staff. So on the fire staff, obviously it does fire damage. You could potentially have like a void damage component of that. You know, you'll gym it to where it's going to do a, you know, a different augment of damage type. And then we swap to the rapier, for example. You, you can make the rapier do, you know, shock damage or you can have an ice gauntlet. So don't quote me on this. I think it's possible, depending on your weapon combination, you could have four stacks of empower, okay, equating to about 16% increase in power, you know, just depending on your your, your weapon setup and your, your weapon swaps. But uh, at the very least, you're going to have a 12% empower. And not only that, the other two perks are, I, I mean, in my opinion, man, like, like, like Keen Awareness, 7% crit chance, absolutely phenomenal. And PvP, you need Hardy. You need the 10%. So this is going to be a very meta-stable ring and I cannot wait to get it all right so how do you get it surprise surprise and see it in your eyes it's me it's me it's Ernest T this is from the, the new raid uh, it's gonna be the hive of gorgons and you have to kill the brood mother Medusa in order to ascertain good luck Okay, so the next artifact I want to talk about is survivor's coat now going into Eternum. I'm pretty much, you know, I'm a fire staff user. Freaking love it, man. Like, I, I'm, 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 I'm a slut for a fire staff, okay? I'm probably gonna be rocking the, the Featherweight Frigidon, yada, yada. You guys already know the meta. However, Survivor's Coat is very very strong since i typically try to run solo and try to 1vx on my own if you are a solo player this might actually be a better alternative than the featherweight frigid dawn yada yada you know you guys get it right so the special perk is survive if you get hit while your health is below 50 percent you gain 50 stamina lose all debuffs and gain a potion surge that will recharge your next healing potion instantly on a three minute cooldown so how do you get this bad boy so you are going to have to exchange the blooms now the blooms are only attainable in the new pvp island i think you can get them from killing players and also chest opening i'm not entirely sure how all that is going to play out but as soon as i know we, we kind of you know when it goes live i'll kind of update you guys you know if anything changes but yeah there's gonna be npc you're gonna trade your doubloom currency for and uh, yeah that's it all right next artifact on the chopping block is a cow power is a light headwear archetype now the special perk is a desperate energy if you hit an enemy while your mana is below 50 percent gain four seconds of 25 percent increased damage now there are a lot of instances where mana typically isn't an issue but i know specifically from pvp if i'm trying to run like a fire staff and an ice gauntlet if i don't have the mana return perks in the fire staff tree skill line i actually do struggle on mana quite a bit unless i'm popping you know a lot of mana potions or your regeneration so this actually does have a little bit of play you know for example just kind of go in blow your load and swap to your your secondary weapon could, could be a rapier could be axe i don't really know but this can come in clutch so wearing something like this kind of opens the door to where you don't always have to be on point with with your mana management so yeah let's say if you screw up and you do drop you know pretty low in your mana at least you're gonna get like a 25 percent damage buff and again you could drop below the 25 percent right like blow your load with a uh, fire staff ice gauntlet you'll probably have like 25 30 percent mana right and then you get the buff 
all right so you're going to get the buff for four seconds and then you pop a mana potion then you're back up at you know 100 and then you kind of rinse and repeat essentially every 10 seconds so i do actually see a good benefit to the cow power in addition it does have some pretty good perks again we have enchanted ward and we also have health health isn't that bad it could be worse um but if you are running um, kind of what i want to do is run a lot of shirking hills so having a really high health value when you're shirking hill procs you know it, it just stacks a lot better so uh, this does open up a lot of build options especially if you're in light armor all right so how do you get this tasty little morsel uh this is just unlocked in the season pass or battle pass i mean eventually you're going to get it i think it's one of the later tiers that you unlock i mean it is what it is and uh one more thing i hate all these ads on the screen man this this sucks like i appreciate new world database but everywhere i go there's videos playing and it's like jesus jesus christ okay so next on the list is azoth conductors now this is a medium armor archetype for the legs the special perk reads magician's boon if in medium armor deal 15 percent more elemental damage me personally i do like to run solo the best i can i feel that's like the best way you're going to learn your class learn your abilities you can kind of really learn the game especially from a pvp aspect right so um, i do think this is going to be beneficial because this is going to allow you to tank up quite a bit running a full medium armor equip load but you're still not losing too much damage because effectively this is giving you the light armor passive of doing 15 percent more damage and again and the other two perks are refreshing super strong and then the third perk health while not as strong does have some play in some specific builds again like i mentioned before like shirking hills all right so how do you get them uh well uh, as you may have guessed uh, it's from hyper gorgons uh it is the inchida boss in in enchilada boss uh, i don't really know but uh now you know now one of the strongest artifacts that i think is going to absolutely plague the pvp meta is ghostly touch this is a medium armor glove archetype and the special perk reads ghostly embrace when you hit an empowered foe dispel two of their empowers and give yourself 10 seconds of 10 percent empower this is on a four second cooldown so let me explain the end of that so you get 10 percent empower okay this can proc every four seconds now i do not know for sure if these empowers can stack since the cooldown is four seconds but the longevity of your intrinsic 10 percent empower is for 10 seconds so potentially you could have three stacks of this do not quote me on that but the other portion of the perk is that you're absorbing their empowers as well so this is a huge swing so at the very least assuming that these empowers cannot stack okay worst case scenario you will be doing 10 percent more damage and if you're absorbing a couple of their empowers let's just say on average is five percent and five percent so we'll say that they are doing 10 percent less damage and you're doing 10 percent more damage that is very very strong and again the other two perks absolutely phenomenal enchanted ward and refreshing both powerhouse perks by themselves okay so how do you get this absolute gem now, keep in mind if you're running this is going to be super viable on both light and medium armor builds so it is worth getting yeah, no matter what your build is i mean if you're heavy probably not right but and if you're in any light or medium armor build i do think this does have a lot of play all right so how do you get this essentially uh it is the the bloom system you know with the new pvp island uh, i really hope you guys like pvp i'm not I'm, i think you can get these in chess uh, i'm not 100 sure i'm sure there's gonna be all kinds of chess runs right but uh, i'm really looking forward to the pvp man like the only reason i even hopped over into new world is for the pvp and the combat system so i'm definitely looking forward to farming this uh, i hope you guys are too if, there, if there's like an easy kind of cheesy way to farm this i'll let you guys know in a follow-up video you know once the uh once the beta or new world eternum goes live okay okay so hopefully that was palatable for you guys i should have timestamps uh in the video as well as the new world database a link in the description um if you guys are new to new world kind of like i am i i do have i'm approaching like six seven hundred hours uh, i've done nothing with pvp so i do have a pretty firm grasp on how the pvp meta is shaping up right but uh it kind of seems like ags is going down the right track you know they're, they're, they're nerfing the correct things and it seems to be a heavy emphasis on empowers this this patch 
you know you have the uh, elemental affinity ring you have some of the armor pieces you have the ghostly gauntlets or whatever the hell they're called that we just talked about absorbing empowers while giving them to yourself so uh, i do think the pvp meta is going to be pretty dang interesting especially with the nerf to nature's wrath that is really going to promote other build variations a little bit of theory crafting and i'm definitely looking forward to it now i am thinking about if this channel starts doing well with new world content i'm making a website just so you guys have access to all of my builds okay um i know that uh, some people like to auditorily hear the builds they like to see the builds or maybe they just want to reference them later so if this channel does pop off a little bit more and you guys are liking and subscribing and enjoying the content i will contemplate on actually making a website for all you guys but yeah let me know what you guys think down in the comments i do stream three to five times a week it really just depends on whether i'm making a video or not so if you guys want to stop by the streams say hi ask some pvp questions check out the content watch me rage occasionally i am slightly entertaining so yeah uh, just go follow me on twitch at horcrux yt or if you're watching here on youtube i have everything down in the description below if you want to become a channel member uh, all that's down in there man we we have emotes you have access to uh discords and special channels stuff like that shout outs in all my videos so i really do appreciate your guys' supports and the best way to do so simple like and sub man leave a comment let me know what you guys think what i can improve on going forward this has been horcrux and i'm out you guys have a great rest of your night peace